All right, so a lot of things just came up, like on our way into Chipotle again, all right, fine. On our way into getting lunch, um, it's like we didn't even know what we were gonna talk about. The vlog about nothing is kind of what we were saying. And now we had a guy wearing his uh, shirt that didn't have his contractor's license on, number on it. He's actually right behind us. He doesn't even have the license number on the sticker of the window of his truck. That's two violations. He's lucky I'm not part of the Contractor State License Board. You can check out our video on that. I'll, I'll put the little thing up at the above. And then also on top of it, you know, for my students, if you caught our recent episode about the class I have, and we'll put the same little link above like that and all that stuff, you'll remember that when you get a water cup, you're supposed to get water with it, and the videographer, the guy holding the camera right now, allegedly, allegedly, got a water cup and filled it up with, let's just say, iced tea. And for those of you who took my class, you know what that is. For those of you who didn't, that's larceny. I mean, it would be, potentially, if that would have happened. I don't know, I'm not answering any more questions. I was just joking around because all of a sudden turn around there's a Coke truck like <laughs> who stole who didn't pay for their soda? I'm at Costco getting gas right now, and I just want to say the following. I've heard rumors that Costco gas isn't as good as other gas, and I just don't think that's true. Not because I'm some fanboy for Costco, but because if I owned ExxonMobil or Shell or any of the other big dogs in the gasoline game and Costco was pushing out inferior gas, I would be spreading the word like wildfire about the inferior gasoline coming out of my competitor's gas pumps. And I'd be explaining exactly why there's a premium for my gas because it's better gas. But for some reason, those companies are silent on it. And so I got a feeling maybe I got nothing to say for a reason. Hold on, but let's talk about something more serious. And that is your dollars is really your voting power. Like if you want to support something, supporting it with your money is the best thing you could possibly do. So if it's a business thing, obviously that makes sense, but it's really true in any enterprise whatsoever. Every time you pay for something, that's voting. If you wanna see like humane treatment of animals before they're slaughtered, go to food places that only slaughter animals humanely. If you wanna see like the food quality increase, don't buy cheap stuff. I mean, the, the, the reality is that businesses cater to your pocketbook. And so if you start treating your money like the way you treat your votes, being like real careful with it and only using it to support businesses that you support and that support things that you like, then you would see more of um, what you want to see in the world, I think. All right, Luis, so you got the camera out, so let's catch everybody up on what we were talking about. We've been talking about the existing and ongoing feud, the beef, the shade between Pusha T and Drake, two rappers if you, um, if you're up on your uh, current events and your uh, you know tabloid media type stuff, then I'm sure you're aware that there's been a little bit of a scandal here as uh, Drake made a uh, rap song um, disrespecting and dissing Pusha T, and then Pusha T responded by releasing his own song, um, basically filleting Drake, um, exposing all kinds of things that maybe the general public wasn't aware of and things that I think are potentially could do some harm to Drake's reputation and business. And so then we started discussing, I mean, it's kind of funny because I'm talking to you like you weren't there, but we started discussing like what should be done about it? What do you do about it? What does Drake do about it? And to me as an attorney, the obvious answer is, you know, you're a rapper. Someone made a rap song making fun of you. It's time for you to make a rap song making fun of them. But uh, it seems like there's a lot more issues, a lot more pieces at play here. Um, there's obviously a lot of money. These guys' careers are uh, generating an immense fortune of money. So there's a lot that goes into the decisions on how to respond, the best way to respond, whether to respond at all. All right, so listen, the question and answer I just gave you, that's the answer, and I know you're dissatisfied with that answer. Everybody that asks me about this freaking Pusha T, Drake, Beef, Shade, Rap Battle, I give that answer to, and they're not satisfied with it. All right, so let's go to the next level. Let's do what you want. Slander, all right? It's the oral defamation causing damage to the reputation of another. So let's say Drake says, I don't care about the money. I don't care, Afsar. Let's go after this. Let's sue this guy for slander. Can he win? I mean, that's what you really want to know, right? Screw all the niceties. If Drake decides to sue him, can he win? And the question is, I mean, I'm not really sure. The, 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 see, part of this has to do with the affirmative claim, which is slander, oral defamation. So has Pusha T said something, used his verbal skills, his communication orally, yes, to defame and say something negative about Drake? I think so. I mean, I don't know necessarily how bad it is for your reputation as a rapper for someone to disclose that you have a, a baby out of wedlock, you know, without getting married. I don't necessarily think that's enough to maybe do any kind of reputational damage to you as a rapper, but let's just assume that that, 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 that is enough. Let's make the assumption that that is enough for us to go ahead and go past that point. The next question is, 
Has there been any actual harm, any actual damage? Like I said, has Drake lost something? Um, has he lost uh, any kind of business opportunities? Now, there's a rumor out there that he's lost some kind of business transaction with Adidas. I don't know firsthand if he has or he hasn't, but let's assume that he has, so there would be some damage there. He's a public figure, so then he'd have to have a heightened level of uh, defamation. In other words, the act by Pusha T would have to be malicious. So whether or not this is malicious is another question. And then, of course, let's just assume it is malicious. Now Drake has made the pieces that he needs to have his case proven. Well, Pusha T would have a chance to defend himself, and I think his most likely defense would be truth. Now, I don't know enough about Drake. I don't have a team of people doing the research like Pusha T does, but I would assume that he did his homework and made sure the things he said were true before he said them. And if truth is... If everything he said is true, then truth would be a defense for, to the claim, and so therein lies the can Drake win? I mean, I'm an attorney. I, I, I do my best to assess claims, rights, and remedies that people have. I do not have a crystal ball. I can't predict for sure if someone's going to win or not. So what do you think? Do you think Drake has enough to make a claim for, for slander against Pusha T? Are you Team Drake? Are you Team Pusha? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, if you like an attorney, age 40, shh, don't tell anybody, talking about rat beefs, hit the like button, and of course share with your friends. And if you want to keep up to date with me and Luis Antonio Flores on the camera, a guy willing to put non-water in his water cup, maybe, maybe not, then be sure to subscribe. It would mean a lot to us. We look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Unbillable.